Hey everybody, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thank you as always for joining me here today in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make use of some great whole bean coffees from pangeocoffee.com. I'm going to grind those beans up and I'm going to brew them in my great Keurig B70 single serve brewer. You can change these preferences, of course, uh, based on how you have things set up in your own at-home coffee shop, but I just want to show you guys how quick and easy it is to make use of some awesome whole bean coffee and how easily you can brew a great cup of coffee by making use of some of these options. Let's go ahead and dive in and show you how it's done. Okay guys, so you see here I have flanking my B70 four bags of whole bean coffee from, from PangeoCoffee.com. Uh, I've talked about these coffees in some of our other videos and you're going to want to check those videos out if you want to find out about the flavor profile behind these great coffees, really, really liking what Pangeo Coffee does. Essentially, they have a great mission statement. They're a company working to use coffee for good. They work with small villages uh, which harvest these coffee beans uh, to help those villages not only to harvest those beans, but also to hopefully improve the lives of the folks in the communities uh, which they are a part of when they go in and start to harvest these beans. So that's something that I think is really very cool about their mission statement, and something that makes them very, very unique. Uh, I have four different bags here. Again, these are all whole bean. They are all single origin. They are organic. They're fair trade. They're, uh, uh, Pangeo Coffee has trade agreements set up with the farmers that they work with for these coffees. In uh, today's video, I'm going to make use of the, of the um, Ethiopian Harar right here, which is definitely one of my favorites. Really, really nice coffee with a lot of overtone and undertone of blueberry and kind of dark cherry. So let's go ahead and brew some coffee using the Keurig B70 with these beans. So what I've done is I have ground some coffee beans using my Bodum Bistro coffee grinder. And uh, I've ground these not too thin. You don't want to make your coffee grounds too fine because then you can end up getting a little bit of a mess uh, when you're making use of some of these single serve options. I'm using here the Echo Brew uh, single brew cup. This is one of my favorite single brewing options uh, that I've ever used. Really like the design on the Echo Brew. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to fill my Echo Brew up. Now I don't need to fill it up all the way. I just want to get enough coffee in there that I know I'm going to match the flavor of what I would like. If I go all the way to the top, I could possibly overflow the Echo Brew and make a mess. Now I'm going to open up the brew basket on my B70 and now I'm just going to pop the Echo Brew in. Now the Echo Brew sits very specifically into the brew basket inside of the B70 so it's really, really easy to use. All I have to do then is close it up. And now, because the B70 is always ready to brew coffee, all I need to do is choose the cup size I would like to brew. I'm going to go ahead and go for the second to largest size today. And now that I've selected my coffee size, all I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the brew button. Now, of course, one of the things that we love about single serve coffee here at aromacup.com is how quickly and easily we can make this coffee. Something that folks always wonder about is if they are able to make their own coffee by making use of a single serve option. And we wanted to show you guys how we are going to use these great coffee beans from PangeoCoffee.com to be able to grind some of them up, get the great flavor of freshly ground coffee, and then go ahead and brew a nice cup of coffee. Now, remember guys, based on the cup size which you make use of and how much coffee grounds you put into your Echo Brew or any other single serve option that you might be using with your Keurig machine or another single serve machine, whatever that may be, you're going to get a different flavor profile out of your coffee, a different strength, different intensity, various things like that. So always make sure to experiment a little bit because you definitely want to find the flavor profile of the coffee that you really, really, really like. Um, Something again I should say guys about the Pangeo coffees is that they are working to use coffee for change. I think it's something that's incredibly unique in the world of coffee growing and coffee brewing and coffee sales really is that uh, Pangeo actually goes into these small villages uh, which often are dealing with poverty and maybe natural disasters and many other afflictions and they work with the folks who live in these small villages not only to help them to harvest the coffee uh, which they grow in these villages 
in places all around the world, Indonesia, Ethiopia, many other parts of the world, Kenya, of course. Um, but they also, as I say, work to help these folks out to create a better community anytime that they go in and they start to work uh, with the folks who grow these coffees. A lot of these coffees are brewed light. They are not dark roast coffees. And I think that's actually really, really good because I've noticed a lot of different flavor profiles across these four different bags, which Pangeo was uh, kind enough to send over to us. I found flavors that range anywhere from a dark currant and a berry kind of a flavor going all the way up to a bit of a green apple type of citrus flavor uh, combined with a little bit of cedar and a nice dark flavor coming out of some of these without needing to have a dark roast coffee. So. I've really liked the coffees that Pangeo has offered up um, and really, really enjoying drinking them as well. Now, of course, I like to drink these coffees in all manner of different ways. You guys have probably seen me make these um, by making use of French press, and that's a great way for you to brew these coffees. But as you can see, I'm all done brewing my cup right now out of my B70. And I have to say that one of the great things about the Pangeo coffees is that I'm finding that, as I say, they're not very, very dark roasted but they have a lot of flavor to them. And that flavor is great. The Ethiopian Harar, something that really gets me about it, is that I can actually taste a blueberry undertone going on with the coffee. There's a little bit of sweetness and kind of a dark blueberry going on here. As I say, the other Pangeo coffees are roasted in varying ways, and you'll want to check out our videos so that you can find out more about them. <clears throat> For now, this is a great way that you can make use of your own whole bean coffees by making use of your single serve machine, such as the Keurig B70, in your own at-home coffee shop. And you can see how quick and easy it is. Just remember to grind your beans right. Don't overfill your single serve option, whatever that may be, for your single serve machine. And uh, of course, experiment with finding the right flavor that you like for your coffee. So there you go, guys. There's just a quick overview of how you can make your own whole bean coffees. In this case, making use of the awesome whole bean organic fair trade coffees from PangeoCoffee.com. Please check them out. We'll have a link in our description of our video, of course, and check out our other videos to find out how you can save money on coffee, find out great reviews and other information about coffee, single serve machines, and much more. All of that is available to you guys at AromaCup. Dot com. As always, guys, I'm Brian. Thank you for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care.